What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and what we're going to be talking about today is the best army, the vi hands down the best army that you can use in the event you have to hit a base fresh for whatever reason, whether it's because you, you, your clan doesn't have any scouts, whether you're a Town Hall 10 that has to hit early in a war, there's all kinds of different examples about why a Town Hall 10 has to hit another Town Hall 10 fresh. So I got three examples to show you guys. We're gonna go ahead and break down each one of the attacks and show you guys why this is the best attack strategy when hitting fresh. Alright guys, so the attack strategy we're talking about, and I'll be explaining why and breaking down the attacks. Um, the reason why this attack strategy is hands down the best, and the attack strategy I'm talking about is Queen Walk Bitch, or also known as Queen Walk Bowlers and Witches, uh, Queen Walk Bow, I mean there's all different kinds of names for it. At the end of the day, we're going to be calling it Queen Walk Bitch. The reason why this attack strategy is so is so strong is because on other attack strategies, whether you're using hogs, whether you're doing something like a Sui Lalo, Queen Charge Lalo, there's a lot of information that you need to see, such as what the C, what's going to be in the clan castle, what the what the defensive clan castle troops are, the Tessa locations, and on something like a hog attack, knowing where the bombs are can often be crucial on a successful hog attack. On this attack strategy, because it is so powerful and just how the attack strategy is designed, you don't need to know any of those things. Uh, double poison, no matter what's in the CC, whether it's a damage CC, whether it's going to be a heavy CC, double poison can take out any damage CC. It does not matter what it is, as long as you have a level 5 poison donated and a level 4 poison of your own. So that's the first thing out of the way, is it does not matter what is in the clan castle. The second thing is, because all your spells are being used on so many troops pushing through the core, it doesn't even really matter where the bombs are, unless it's really trolly and you got four, you know, four or five giant bombs on your entry, which I highly doubt anybody would ever do. Um, it doesn't even matter where exactly the bomb locations are either, and it gives you the best chance because there's not a lot of moving parts. At the end of the day, this is not, you know, something like a you know, triple layer queen charge, um, you know, Lalo attack. You know, it's, it's nothing like a, a crazy attack as far as execution. As long, the, the, the types of bases you're looking for on doing something like a queen walk bitch, the side you want to put your queen on is the side where the air defenses will not be in range of the healers. You need that queen and those healers to stay up normally for the remainder of the raid and you do not use any spells on her you drop her down i mean you, you got to keep your eye on her to make sure you pop ability but you do not use any spells on that queen on the other side you use depend depending on how many defenses your other flank is going to be using uh anywhere from three to four witches anywhere from three to five bowlers you use on the other flank uh which is setting a funnel i mean the queen and the the, the witch bowler flank are pretty much setting a funnel for the main push through the base, and they're also taking care of all the defenses from over the wall, keeping that core nice and healthy through the base. And traditionally, your spells are always going to be two jump, two rage, and one heal spell. I wanted to show you guys this one because on this one, we only brought one jump spell. Uh, and that's and again, that's because of base identification. We did not need to bring a second jump because one jump spell literally opened up the entire core of this base. I, uh, but I know these last two attacks have been playing in the background. I'm gonna try to break down the third and final example, uh, break down the attack as it's playing out. But I'm telling you guys, this attack is so powerful in the event you have to hit a fresh base, and especially in this meta, um, Queen Walk bitch or, or queen walk bowlers and witches it's just at the end of the day it's just a powerful attack you do not need uh, the best execution in the world in order to get that three star and it does not have a lot of moving parts you know things like kill squad hogs you know 
you have to have accessible kill squad. There's key objectives you need to take care of. You gotta have a successful wall break. There's just a lot more moving parts with other attacks, especially queen charges and Sui Lalo's loon placement, all that stuff. On this attack, you don't. You get your troops down probably within the first 30 seconds of, of the attack, and it's all about just dropping down your spells and just like, I mean, just like a lot of 10v10, some of it does have to, uh, a lot of these attacks can um, be lucky at the end of the day, but I mean, that's just kind of how it goes uh, with, lots of, with a lot of these attacks, just being completely honest. On this attack, there's a, 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 the, the first base we saw was a lighter Town Hall 10. The second base and this base are fully max defense Town Hall 10s. This one's 100% max. The defenses, the walls, everything. So we're gonna go ahead and watch uh, DT aka Fuzz uh, as we're gonna break down his attack as it's playing through and really demonstrate why this attack and believe it or not yes this was also a fresh hit so on this base he's gonna go ahead and start his queen up here at 12 o'clock what he wants to do is walk that queen from 12 o'clock down to 9 and he's gonna have his witch bowler flank at 3 o'clock going down to 6 just, uh, and you'll also see because we have that double layer of trash on the outside, uh, on the side that the queen is on, notice he went ahead and dropped down a few archers just so that queen does not uh, go too far away from these defenses. You wanna keep her nice and tight against that wall, taking out all these defenses. So the witch bowler flank is down on the storage over there at three o'clock and he's doing this one um, with golems. And he also um, went ahead and brought, you always, bring uh, CC bowlers on this attack. Sometimes you can bring CC giants, just, depend, just depends if there's gonna be, if there's splash damage on the entry, like on this base, you, you, it's better to opt with golems. If there's no splash and um, just point defenses, giants can often be uh, um, a better choice. So as you guys see, he went ahead and dropped down a, a jump to push everything in, dropped down that leading rage um, to push everything from outside in, to the second jump spell, which led everything into the core, followed up by the second rage, and also that heal spell inside the core. Because ideally, the way the attack works is all your troops are already obviously at full health as they enter into the base. That's why you're normally gonna be raging them up to get those defenses down ASAP on that initial push inside the core, where you're gonna be normally under more enemy fire is that's when you drop down another rage spell to get those defenses down and that heal spell pretty much leaving uh your pretty much leaving your bowlers immune to any defense obviously if, if there's infernal tower obviously that's not you know going to stop uh a heal spell. if it's multi yes if it's, if it's a multi infernal yes it will uh, heal them up but if it's not like a single shot uh but at the end of the day keeping those bowlers alive inside that core and taking care of all of the defenses inside the core. Usually what happens, as we saw on the like the Super Queen video, is that queen stays up the remainder of the raid. Even if your kill squad or that main push dies out, that queen stays up and can completely round, uh, do a, uh, a U-turn completely around the base, taking care of all of those defenses. But yes, this is without a doubt the best attack strategy to use in the event you have to hit a fresh base. You don't need to know what the clan castle troops are. You don't need to know what the test, you know, where the tests are. You don't even really need to know what, where the traps are. At the end of the day, it's just a very powerful attack uh, and for good reason. But hopefully you guys find this video helpful in the event, you know, you have to hit a base fresh because you know, you don't have scouts, you gotta hit early definitely give this attack strategy a try keep that queen up keep those healers up keep those flanks nice and healthy get those spells down push through the base get those three stars hopefully you enjoyed the video and with and i will definitely see you guys in the next one and don't forget to subscribe to the channel either